everyone, it's Pam from Glam Junk Journals, and today we are continuing on with my Altered Book to Junk Journal series. This is episode number three, and what I plan on doing in this episode is uh, picking out a blank page and decorating it. And I'd like to show you how I go about doing that and maybe even doing some stamping and stenciling. One thing I wanted to say in the beginning is um, I was trying to think of an effective way to do each of the parts in this series. Um, I'm not going to do every single page on camera because I don't think you guys would want to watch 25 episodes of in the series on how I do each page. My goal is to give you an overview of how I look at the pages and some different things that I do throughout the journal. And that being said, I'm going to do some of it off camera, but let's just get right into it. So if you remember, we have our three signatures and last time we did do some pockets and I did mention that I am adding a lot of my Lady Caprice paper into the pages and here is another signature i created a little pocket there as you can see with um some my lady caprice book pages and i did double them up just so that they um, are more sturdy so i'm going to go ahead and do more of that off camera but today we are going to decorate a blank page and I have done a tutorial on this in the past but it's one of my favorites so we're gonna do another one how to decorate a blank page so let's just pick one here so this is one of our signatures here that we got going and I'm thinking we're gonna just pull out this one blank page right so Sticking with the My Lady Caprice color scheme, the teals and the golds, I pulled out some of my mini ephemera, and I did do a tutorial on creating tons of mini ephemera, and um, I just love how to use these little bits in, um, in my pages. It's just so fun. So, in addition to that, I have a box of offcuts from just the pages that we have already cut up for our signatures. So I am going to do the inside of the page. So we're going to have two sides here. And I am going to do a collage page. And I love collaging. It's one of my favorite things to do. And it it's just it's just so fun. So we're going to do it. Let me adjust the lighting again. It is a cold and rainy day here today. So you never know what you're going to get with the lighting. So like I said, this is my box of, uh, you know, paper from the book pages. I've got some envelopes. I've got some ledger. What else do I have in here? Music. Got to have music because like I always start my collaging with background pages, meaning not your focal point. Some uh, different patterns go really well, but something that you can put other things on top of is the way I like to look at it. So we are just going to start tearing. I love looking at these things. They're so fun. Let me adjust the lighting again. Okay, so we're just going to just have at it and like I said this is our base layers again we're going to be decorating this page let's see I do like the writing so I like that there and we'll just do some more on this side too now remember these aren't going to face each other because they're going to be folded and different uh, in different areas of my journal so let's see, maybe some music. And remember, this stuff is probably going to be covered. If 
for the most part. Not the most part. I mean, little bits will be sticking through, but that's what I have to remember when doing this is, you know, you don't have to make this all fancy and look, look perfect. All right. So I am going to distress the edges here. And I don't know if I like this on the edge, this uh, raggedy part, but we're going to go with it. All right, I'm going to tear this down a little bit. All right, and don't think too much. That's always what I say to myself. Don't think too much. Just start sticking the stuff down, right? And who knows um, if some of this distressing will even show up. But I think parts will, so I like to do it ahead of time. Let's see, what does this say? Oh. These dreams my heart entwine, and fondly we shall meet. <laughs> oh, love that. Love it. So I hope you guys are all doing well today. And I'm excited about doing some more pages in my journal here. And like I said in the beginning, I really don't know how many, <clears throat> or maybe I didn't say it in the beginning. I don't remember. I don't know how many episodes this is going to be because um, my journals tend to be very highly embellished and uh, decorated. And so my goal is to show you guys how I go through the various stages of decorating a journal. And that reminds me, what I would like to call your attention to is the different weights of paper that you use in uh, creating your pages. If you remember, I use uh, different weights of paper. I'm using my double-sided tape. Love the tape. It just works so well. So what was I saying? I got distracted already. Uh, oh yeah, the different weights of paper. I like to use a variety of weights. I think it just gives um, the journal a lot of interest when you're flipping pages. But that being said, I do like to use cardstock in on some of the pages. And wherever there is cardstock, I tend to highly embellish and add a lot to that just because it's a heavier duty piece of paper and it can withhold, you know, attaching uh, ribbon and fabrics and, um, you know, can hold a lot of weight. Whereas a thinner piece of just, say, copy paper or a doily or things like that, um, I tend to not add much to those pages, maybe some stamping and stenciling or some um, lighter weight embellishments. So that's just something con to consider when you're thinking about what type and what weight of papers you're going to be using in your journal. Uh, so that's what I found over over the years of making these journals here is I like to, um, like I said, vary the weight and um, just depending on the placement in the journal, uh, you know, what you add to it. So right now we're just doing the base layer. Okay, I'm going to do this side here. And they're, like I tell you guys every time, I love this double-sided tape except I made that one too long. Um, it just, it sticks like no other. Sticks better than glue. Sticks, in my opinion, it sticks better than anything. And so I'm just going to get this going. And then I do also use my Scotch Create glue stick in addition because, you know, want to make sure this stuff is really stuck. Okay, so we're just doing base layers, right guys? Yep. Oh, this is, I just love doing this. I love, love, love doing this.
my husband is uh, out fishing and it's it's kind of nice because it's nice and calm here. <laughs> Not that he bothers me, but uh, I can just kind of do my own thing if you if you get what I'm saying here, right? So I can be up here crafting all day and don't have to think of, oh, what are we having for lunch or, um, you know, what's he doing? And he's got to be quiet because, um, you know, I'm doing a video and I just dropped my whole box. Oh, man. Oh, well, no big deal. That's the life of a junk journaler. And, oh, wow. Not much fell out. Hold on, guys. Okay. It was a save. <laughs> oh, geez, 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 geez. Okay. So, let's see. What are we going to add now? Oh, yeah. My goal is for this journal to use a lot of the actual My Lady Caprice pages. So, let's just do that. So this is one of the pages that we, um, uh, you know, cut down for our uh, corners here, our pockets. Remember that? Huh. So always save your offcuts. So let's just put my lady caprice, and I do want this to show up. So. Put it right there now i don't know though because see here i am we're still working background pam so i don't know if i should use this yet because i want this to be up you know i want to be able to see it so scratch that we'll take a little piece like this one right here yeah yeah that's what we'll do we're going to take a little piece and distress it so you can still see all that really cool um, scalloping and stuff. All right, let me get this down. All right, put that on there. Yeah, that looks really good. All right, and get some more of those fun pages here. Just gonna take. The whole side of that. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's tear off that. Oh, this looks so pretty already, you guys. And I don't know, you know, my mind starts going and thinking about junk journals in the middle of the night. So I didn't sleep that well last night because I was thinking of all the things <laughs> that I wanted to do in my journal. Oh, do you guys ever do that? Oh, man. And I don't know, maybe I am a night person because a lot of really cool ideas come to me at night. More so than in the day. Oh. All right, so we're still just sticking down the background. Oops, that went too far over the side, but... Uh, I'm going to have to cut that down or do something. Okay, that's fine. All right, now, okay, on to the mini ephemera. A whole, I did a whole episode, or I should say video, on creating mini ephemera, and here is some of it. Well, not this. Or the, whoops. <laughs> Back up. Not this. Let me just move these out of the way. I, I gathered some postcards. We're going to use those later. And some fabric, and we're gonna use those. But, okay, here we are, mini ephemera. Just big pieces of cardstock that I cut down. And little pieces of, um, you know, scrapbook paper, magazines, vellum. And these were all really big sheets, but when you cut them down, they look totally different. So we're gonna start putting some of these down. Okay, so back to our page here. Okay, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, that, that's pretty. Okay, we'll do that. All right, we're going to add that there. Where's my tape? Oh, 
I'm doing my best, you guys, to stay in frame. That is my goal, besides making a really pretty junk journal <laughs> and having um, a video series that is easy to follow. Those are my main goals, but the other one is to stay in frame. Stay in frame. And I think what happens is when I work, I like to pull it up towards my face. You know, like move it this way. Whoops. And I am just trying to be aware of that so that you guys can see. Not only do I need to see, but you guys need to see too, right? And then I start getting crowded. So, all right. <laughs> just talking, just talking. Now, which side do you guys think on this? Look at that pretty piece of paper, that cardstock. Kind of like this one. All right, so let's go with this. I'm just gonna distress the edge. This is just like a torn piece of paper. Looks good. Put some tape on this and some glue. Um, so I'm thinking, okay, what else do I wanna do in this journal? Do I wanna do a master board and then cut it up to make tags and, um, you know, ephemera, maybe. Oh man, and there's so many fun things to do, you guys. You just can't do them all in one journal. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think you can use everything that you've ever liked to make in one journal. Maybe you can, I don't know. That'd be a lot. And then I was thinking, oh, we could do some altered envelopes. Oh no, we got so much to do, but that's fun. That is fun. Where should I put this? I don't know, right there. Okay, that is looking fabulous already. Let's see what else we have in our mini ephemera. Okay, I do want a focal point on each of these pages like I always do. So, let's see. I'm going to put something right along here just so that, um, I don't know, just because. I like that. Or should I do more My Lady Caprice? No, that's the center. Okay, this is what you do when you're just thinking about stuff, guys. I don't know. Oh, rats. Okay, so let's look in our box again. This is off cuts, you guys. Oh, there's a good one. cool stuff. Oh, an envelope. We're going to use an envelope today too, maybe. Oh, see, see, this is what happens. I have too much to use. <laughs> All right, we're just going to do that. That looks really good. This is um, also just a uh, piece of paper, two-sided, that I... Um, used in another part of this journal. And this, there again, was the, what I cut off. Ha! Oh, that side's really pretty too. Mm -hmm. Nope, I'm still like, I still, I really like wording for the background. All right, stick this on there. Oh, this is so pretty, you guys. So continuing on, thinking out loud. Um, I like to, and this is totally personal preference, I like to do a lot of my decorating and embellishing. Um, I like to do a lot of it before I put the signatures together into the book, meaning 
bind them in uh, to the spine. And the reason I like to do that is because I do like to add a lot of sewing. I like to do a lot of things that I find are harder once the pages are attached into your book. I will do some additional though um, after it's in the book, but for the most part, I like to decorate a lot of my pages. I'd say about three quarters of the decorating of my pages before I put them into my book and attach them, you know, attach to the spine. And um, that's, just how, that's just how I've always done it. All right. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. And then we're done with the background. You know, and sometimes I got to be honest with you guys. I think too much. I think, okay, you know, I want to show, I want to show everybody how to do this. And I want to show everyone how, you know, um, my pro what my process is and then I think oh man you know they're not going to understand and so I'm trying to be as I'm just too hard on myself so hopefully my goal is for you guys just to come along and craft with me and we're going to have fun right right so okay done with the background now we want some focal points what is my focal point going to be? Hmm. Oh, I, I know what one is. It is, where's that? My envelope. Look at this. Isn't this cool? From J.C. Batdorf, M.D., Grand Rapids, Michigan. <laughs> so this envelope um, I got from an Etsy shop, and I um, will put a link at the bottom to the Etsy shop. She sent me a ton of envelopes and I love to find them myself, but I, I haven't been able to find that many. But that being said, I am going to the postcard and ephemera show coming up and hopefully they're gonna have a boat load of stuff. But anyways, that's where I got this. Now look, there is, you know, a do-it-yourself pocket. Oh, oh, yay. So we're going to just put that somewhere. Let's see, where's my fold? All right, so there's my fold, right? Meaning what side of my page. So we're just going to stick it on there. See, and there again... I'm kind of covering up some of that music. So, maybe I'll do it on this side. Okay, somewhere. I don't know, what do you guys think? Oh, see, here I go. See, I'm covering up that, but that's okay. That's okay, Pam. Okay, just glue this down. So I'm gonna glue it down so that there's a pocket and I want to have a pocket. Do I want one right here also and here? Let me think about this. So we're going to have one right here, right? So here's one of my little cards. Let's see if it fits. Oh, it might if I tear this one little edge. Yep. Ooh, look at that. Ha ha. That looks good. We're going to go with it. Okay. Glue this down. But I'm going to keep this side open. Let me keep... No? I screwed up. I put glue on that. <sighs> really? Well, rats. Maybe I'll do it on this side then and keep this side open. <laughs> yep, that's what we'll do. Okay, so we covered up the music, but whatever. 
All right, so I glued it down on this side, right? And I'm gonna glue it across the top and the bottom, but not on this side. All right, so here we go. See, this is junk journaling as you go, guys. So I'm just sticking the bottom down on three sides, right? Okay. So there you go. So we're going to have a pocket here underneath. And let's see if that'll work. I'm going to fold this over. Get my bone folder out here. Or actually my wallpaper spreader spackler thing. All right. Now I said this guy is going to go in the top. Yep. That works good. Look at that. Oh, yay. And then something along the sides right here. Right along here. So I need something thin. Hmm. What do I have? I don't know. Let's see. Something thin. No, nope, that's too thick. But you guys get the idea, right? Something like that. I'm going to put something small right here. And I don't think I have anything at the moment but I am gonna put something very small right there. Look at that. Yay, yay. So there is one side, but you know me, more is more. <laughs> Gotta add some bling. You think green? Gold, I'm kind of liking the gold. Mm -hmm -hmm. That's too wide though. Cut this down. Let me get my scissors out here and cut this down. I got paint, I mean, I got tape stuck to me. The bling on a roll, you guys, best thing ever. Bling on a roll. Yep. Ooh. And I'm going to use my um, art glitter glue because it has a fine tip. And put that in there. If it comes out. There it goes. See, because what you can do is you can just get a small amount. Sometimes the Fabri-Tac, at least mine, or maybe the way I'm squeezing it, I get big globs. And I don't want globs in this particular thing. Oh, my lid's coming off. Oh, no. How does that look? Now I think it looks fab. Fabulous. Okay. So we're going to let that side dry. Let me get out something to wipe off some glue here. I need to get a... Um, one of those uh, wet wipe deals. Okay. Cover up my glue. Oh, and from here, you know what? One thing leads to another. Oh, what would be really pretty here is some stamping. Oh, 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 so much to do. Oh, I love this. Oh my God. Okay, but we got to focus. Focus. This side. What are we going to do on this side? Okay. I want to use this postcard yeah, because I just think it's pretty. <laughs> so I am going to create a pocket right here with this card. So I am just going to glue it right along the side here. And this one doesn't have any writing on the back, which is kind of a bonus when you want to use it as a pocket, you know, so you don't have to see the other side. Now, do I want it all the way to the edge? Or do I want some of this showing through? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it up to the edge. Oh, well, some of it's getting covered up. Some of my background, but like I said, I knew that was going to happen. So, there you go. 
pocket along the side there. I'll stick some ephemera right there. Even some more. Look at that. Ooh wee. Ha ha. Oh, and I said I wanted to have my Lady Caprice somewhere. Where should I put that? Mm -mm -mm. Oh well, best laid plans. Darn it. But there you go. Ta-da. Two pages looking fabulous for my journal. Yay! Do I need to add some more? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I do have some fabric. Look at, I got these uh, little, uh, these are like fabric samples where they had, um, you know, like when you go to a furniture store and they have all the samples, this is the top that's cut off because it has the um, description and there's tape on the back. But aren't these cute? I got these in some happy mail. So thank you very much, Wendy. I think these are great because look, ha, a tag. Look at that. Oh, and then here's another one. Another tag right there. So, you know, and what I'll probably do is put something on the back. I don't know what. Maybe uh, some My Lady Caprice page <laughs> or something along those lines. And then there you go. So wasn't that fun? Wasn't that quick and easy? Yay! I love this. I love this. I love this so much. So that is going to be all for today. And I am going to continue on, like I said, off camera. And I'm going to do some more of these type of pages for uh, my journal. And the collage page, I used just a regular piece of coffee dyed paper. This is regular copy paper. Copy that has been coffee dyed. <laughs> um, because the collaging gives it some substance also. It gives it some heft. So that lends itself to adding a bunch of, you know, embellishments on it and it's it's not flimsy. So that is going to go back in my journal right here. There you go. Now I got to do the other side, which is no problem at all. So there you have it. Two more pages done in my journal. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. And as you know, I like to do, I will sew around the edges and maybe add some additional little bits here and there. But for the most part, those two pages are complete. So what do you think? Yay. All right. So that is all for today. I am going to be continuing on in this series and we're going to be doing some more embellishing and decorating not sure exactly what, like I said, I have to think about it, um, but stay with me and we're putting this journal together and it's looking fabulous. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a wonderful day, you guys. Thank you. Bye.